Last one, let's finish this. Let's finish this birdhouse project. Move on to different things, other things. I'm gonna drill out the perch. Unfortunately for me, I, I gotta drill it through the welded side of the steel. Uh, yeah, I didn't pay attention to it when I first put this together. That's all right, we'll make it work. This is the birdhouse we're going to keep, so we'll make it nicer than the one that we gave away. That's the nice thing about this DeWalt 3 inch cutoff tool, is you can Make it go forward or reverse to keep the sparks out of your face or off your body. I like that. And there's our perch. Let's trim it with some diamond plate. And like we always do, we always use this old rusty, crusty secondhand steel. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to trim it right along here, about an inch and a half up. Oh, and then we'll, we'll kind of piece this in to uh, trim out the bottom of our project. So I want to clean this up. and weld this trim on the bottom of our second birdhouse project. And like our last birdhouse, we're just gonna cut and piece these in one at a time. In fact, I'm going to stand it up and tack it in so it's flush with the table. Might be a better way to do it. This steel has been sitting outside all winter long. Let's 
try that again. I do is I just make a couple of well passes like that then I fill it in I don't know if you can see that or not Done. I like it. Let's have a look. Here it is before paint. I think this came out a lot better than the other one because I like the idea of being able to ha hang it flush against the building. And because this is mine, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It came out really good. I think this is going to be very useful, and I do think the birds are actually going to use it. Do you ever have one of those days where you're welding and your welds just look so perfect? They're like, you're like, man, I can't believe I made all those projects and my welds never looked as good as they do on this particular project that you just made that you're talking about that I'm talking about that you made such perfect welds yeah you you wonder how that happens a lot of it has to do with the weather and the humidity and how you know how hot or cold your shop is your steel that it just it varies all the time like today I really didn't show it but I made some really impressive welds that I had to grind out <laughs> that I didn't like grinding out but I had to and that's just the way it goes sometimes and then other times you have to make show welds and they look like shit you know this is I don't know it comes with experience and I'm still learning I've only been at it a little over two years now and every project I learn a little bit more and more and more and this I made this just right off the top of my head. I didn't have a pattern or a, any guide to go by. So I think I, I have another piece of steel just like this. I think I'm going to make a second one just to use up the steel. Rather than just have it sit around. I don't know. I don't know. We'll make something different the next time, though. But I really like the way this come out. I just need to add paint to it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll show you the finished product. And in the spring, I'll show you where we hang it.
very useful. Yeah, buddy.